So is it worth it to download and install Technicolor CineStyle? What's up guys, Dan Furlani here and welcome back to a new video. What am I gonna talk about today? Uh, well, a couple of months ago I made a video about the default picture profiles of the Canon 90D compared to CineStyle. 90% of the default picture profiles uh, suck, or at least they suck when it comes to color grading because you can't really color grade those profiles because there is like too much of everything in there. They're not flat enough. But one wasn't bad at all. I'm talking about the neutral. The neutral picture style. Neutral. So, this is the most flexible of the default picture styles. But still, mm, I don't know. You judge. So, I decided to make this video about it and compare it to CineStyle. The first thing I've done, I tried it. Of course, on the Canon 90D with the 24 millimeters f2.8, the pancake lens with studio lights. And by the way, check the links in the description to see all my gear stuff and things. My gear. And check the link to Epidemic Sound if you want one month of awesome music and great sound effects for one month to use in your videos for free. I noticed that even though by default in the neutral picture style, there is already some saturation, some contrast, but for what concerns saturation it doesn't really matter. You can add it or reduce in post as much as you want, that's not a big deal at all. But the contrast is way too much compared to CineStyle, which of course is almost completely flat. However, with these lights, my studio lights, I was able to get very similar results. Then I turned the studio lights off and I used window light only. I have to admit, I'm lucky because I have some pretty good natural light from this window, so it's not very, very contrasty. So I decided to make a test outside, outdoors, in my outdoor studio. So what happened? Well, take a look at the footage. So, as you have seen earlier, in my studio here, both with and without lights, with some even light anyway, I was able to almost completely match the footage shot in cine style and the one shot in neutral. But outdoors, with so much contrast, with the light so strong, mm, I can confirm that there's too much contrast already by default in the neutral picture style. So what did I do? I opened the menu, I went to the settings and I selected the neutral picture style and I clicked on info detail settings. There I didn't touch the saturation or uh, the sharpness or anything, that, that's not what I care about. I clicked on contrast and I put it all the way down, like I took it all off and then I shot again. In 
my opinion, there's still too much contrast. But is that a big deal? Well, in the end, if you look at the two pieces, the one in cine style and the one is shot in neutral uh, with the modified settings, with the contrast all the way down, I was able to get a decent result. Very similar to the result I get with cine style. So is it worth it to download and install Technicolor Cine Style if you don't have C-Log or a flat profile when the neutral can do a pretty good job? Well, it depends. It depends because, yeah, it's true. In this case, I was able to get decent results because of the kind of color grading I applied in this case. The colors that I wanted like this time, but there are times when you might want less contrast, when you want the ability and the possibility to stretch the highlights and the shadows even more. With the neutral profile, and even when the contrast is at the minimum for that profile, it's still a little bit high. Like in this case, that's the way I wanted it. But if I wanted less, we could try to reduce it even more in post. Yes, of course, but we would fail <laughs> most of the times because when we have a certain amount of contrast straight out of the camera, these are the levels. They're not gonna change. If you try to bring up those shadows, there won't be any details. Uh, this is the thing. If you shoot using neutral picture style and you're happy with it, you like that kind of contrast it gives you by default, well then you don't need Technicolor Cine style because even in terms of flexibility and color grading, I didn't find any issue actually. It was pretty good, I'm surprised. But again, if you want more flexibility, well then you can download Technicolor Cine Style. It would be a little bit better. Not much better, but just a little bit better than nothing. <laughs> but the important thing is that, again, if you want to use the neutral picture style instead of Technicolor Cine Style, just remember to go to the settings of the profile and drop the contrast, otherwise it would be way too much so i'm gonna go now all right that's all i had to say for today i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did smash the like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video